accidents can happen in all work environments and safety should be an important part of everything you do. If an accident does occur, tell your supervisor immediately. Keeping track of each accident is an important step in preventing the same problem from happening again. Greenhouse crop production usually involves the use of agricultural chemicals including pesticides and plant growth regulators. These chemicals are extremely valuable tools as we strive to produce high quality greenhouse crops. However, it's important to carefully follow the instructions on the label to obtain the best results and stay safe. The safe handling and proper storage of chemical pesticides is also very important. The label on the pesticide container contains all the necessary information required for the safe and effective use of agricultural chemicals. Always read the label instructions before using any of these materials. Only workers that have gone through a training program may apply agricultural chemicals to greenhouse crops. Don't touch any of the chemicals or spray equipment until you've been trained. Here are a few important rules for non-applicators working in the greenhouse. Don't enter areas where chemicals are being applied and a do not enter sign has been posted. Don't re-enter that area until the sign has been removed. Although you may be allowed to re-enter an area to water plants, don't handle any of the plant materials until you are told it's safe to do so. Here are a few extra tips to follow when working with chemical pesticides. Always follow the recommendations on the label. Check with your supervisor if you have any questions about pesticide handling or storage. Protective clothing may be required for the application of certain pesticides. This information can be found on the label. Mix pesticide in a well-aired area or outdoors. Try not to let chemicals touch your skin and don't breathe in chemical vapors. Wear rubber gloves when handling pesticides, otherwise the chemicals can come through your skin or hands. Rinse the gloves before you take them off, then wash your hands as well. Don't re-enter treated areas unprotected until the proper re-entry time period has passed. This information can be found on the label. Post do not enter signs. Don't save used pesticide containers and throw away old containers according to label instructions. Following these basic guidelines will greatly help eliminate the potential for accidents and mishandling of chemical pesticides. Other types of accidents can also happen at work and safety should be a part of everything you do. Again, if an accident does occur, tell your supervisor immediately. Keeping track of each accident is an important step in preventing the same problem from happening again. Back injuries are one of the leading reasons employees miss work. Most of these injuries occur while lifting light objects. Remember, the secret to proper lifting is to bend your knees, not your back. Let your powerful leg muscles do the work. Because water is widely used in the production of greenhouse crops, the walks inside the greenhouse can be slippery. To limit the potential for accidents, always walk, never run through the greenhouse. Safety is important in every greenhouse operation, but occasionally minor accidents do occur and it's important that you immediately take care of the situation. Every year, thousands of minor cuts and scratches become infected, must be treated in the hospital, and result in a worker being permanently disabled. Keep these tips in mind to avoid infections. First of all, know where to go to get first aid. Take the time to get treatment. A few minutes of precaution can save days in the hospital. Don't have any hang-ups about getting treatment or wearing bandages. Don't think that a little cut won't amount to much. Just because similar cuts have healed in the past, this one may not do the same. Don't use home remedies to take care of the problem. Remember, you're never too tough for first aid and all injuries should be treated properly. Following these suggestions will help us create a safe and healthy workplace. Now that we've covered some of the basics on greenhouse safety, let's review by answering a few multiple choice questions. It's important to carefully follow the instructions on a pesticide label to A. Obtain the best results B. Stay safe C. Save money D. 
A and B. If you selected D, A and B, then you answered correctly. Only workers that have blank may apply agricultural chemicals to greenhouse crops. A. Permission from their supervisor. B. The key to the storage area. C. Gone through a training program. D. All of the above. If you selected C. Gone through a training program, then you answered correctly. Always blank when handling and storing chemical pesticides. A. Follow label instructions. B. Wear protective clothing. C. Put up a do not enter sign. Or D. All of the above. If you selected A. Follow label instructions. Then you answered correctly. The secret to proper lifting is to A. Bend your back. B. Bend your knees. C. Bend your arms. Or D. None of the above. If you selected B, bend your knees, then you answered correctly. If an accident occurs, A, tell your supervisor immediately, B, keep it a secret, C, keep on working, or D, B and C. If you selected A, tell your supervisor immediately, then you answered correctly. This concludes the module on greenhouse safety.